Hello everyone and welcome back to Subsistence Co-op. Um, so yep, yeah, my apologies uh, real quick uh, about the video and stuff. Uh, it was very shame to lose all that image, but had hardware issues, blah blah blah. The lag and sound in game was terrible um, to where the longer the game would continue, the worse the sound got or the separation of lag. Um, so it, it when we attacked Charlie on episode 24, I would shoot, I'd see myself shoot a shotgun. Like three seconds later, I would hear the shotgun. So it was really, really bad. But there are rules that have to be done that I kind of came up with, which I'm regretting now about when stuff happens and we can't show y'all the content that's amazing. So I have to take punishment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not happy about that, but. Hello, everybody. Now, I'm thinking about <laughs> thinking about this punishment, and I'm thinking, well, axe to the head is a little bit violent, I think. So, you know, it's like, what should I do as some form of punishment? So I think what I'll do is we'll use this. Hey, and hey, then, hey, and no then gun, we're gonna, no gun, no yeah, gun. And, yeah, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go... Bang, bang. Ow. There you go. Oh, missed. Hey, just one. Okay. <laughs> I, I about to say, yeah, just one. Just, we're gonna, we're gonna just one. We're going to kneecap you. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you did? You shot me in my knee? I shot you in your knee, I did. Yeah, so there you go. Oh, Suit that's not cool. I don't suit have any knee pads. <laughs> suitable punishment for losing an episode. Ow. Oh, yeah, I got a little blood right there. And a little higher than the knee. Well, that, was, right, well, that was the other thing. Cool. The, floor was looking, the floor was looking way too clean. Uh, so we needed to actually <laughs> yeah. get some more blood That's on true. it you know, to live up to its name. Yeah, that's the bloodshed. Um, all right, but with the shenanigans out of the way and my punishment done, um, today is starting a new day, and a couple of things with the comments from stuff that we mentioned in the last video. Uh, a, with my double barrel, and B, with a pathing to go to land because it sucks to have to swim constantly. So we, Mozo and I have talked, and we definitely think because of the lag issues and delay issues on co-ops that a double barrel would be best. Um, and, and me with the only real sensible shotgun and axe thing that I have against hunters. Um, fantastic. I'm really excited. Uh, and then, so we're, I've been making that, uh, getting materials and stuff necessary for that. And if I can find where the workbench is, we keep moving things around, <laughs> Mojo. Um, so exactly, we got 2,000 power. We've got um, the mass, so I'm gonna go ahead and craft this beautiful, beautiful thing up. I used 50 weapon parts because we've got like almost 300 of the things. Um, somewhere. <laughs> okay, I thought we had more than that, but okay. Maybe well, we not. did use a load for mass because we had way too many, and they're easy to get given the amount we get attacked. So we should have plenty there. Um, okay, so while while you are orchestrating that, um, what I'm going to do is start what, yes. what we're going to call a bridgehead. So we're going to take you you your idea and and the guys the comments idea, and we're going to actually try and extend from the base. Uh, but I'm not going to build the entire bridge. What I'm going to do is walk a couple of half um, uh, ceilings across hopefully as, as level to the base as we can get or as level to the water as we can get uh, and then when I get to the other end wherever that is I'll build a small bridgehead uh, and that bridgehead will serve two purposes one we can fight from it um, if we need to but the other one is um, hopefully they will attack the bridgehead and they will leave the base alone and as long as we keep repairing the bridgehead that should help to stop getting so many attacks on the main base itself so that's my plan. Um, I'm building a load of planks at the moment because, uh, well, we're going to need planks. Lots of them. And we're not really expecting any attacks either today. But revenge attacks, I'll put it that way. Uh, we did fishing throughout the night. Alpha came down in the shore and got confused on a rock, uh, like they always seem to do. But you can see him over there, kind of doing his thing. but. I got that little mark on my screen again. Ah, I haven't today. Mm. Yeah, so ah, we're gonna right, well. we're gonna get on with a bit of that, and Crimson's probably gonna do a bit of looting while I'm doing a bit of building. And uh, if anything interesting happens, we will bring you yes. back. Yes, yes, it is made. It's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> well, go isn't and it beautiful. Grab yourself some shells, and maybe go and grab a couple of cougars on your way round. Ooh. 
That's fun, actually. Yes. Because we yes. we, we need right, the sinew. Um, as everybody keeps pointing out, I need to repair my stuff, and <laughs> I've, I've been holding yeah. off repairing the t-shirt because, well, kind of like to have a heavy-duty t-shirt, but that's five padded cloth, and we need the padded cloth for other things. So I guess I really yeah. should repair my t-shirt, which is only cloth and feathers. So while I'm making these planks, I'm going to go and do that. If anything, the um, arrows, yep. Uh, the pants are a better upgrade than the shirt because it's one less padded cloth. It's one a lot less of everything, and I think it actually gives you more warmth than the shirt. And I always just try to find the jacket, the hunter jacket, when I do uh, instead of upgrading the shirt. But if I go like excessive amounts of materials, yeah, I'll craft a shirt. Yeah, it wasn't so much for the excessive amounts I was thinking, it was just as it was in quite poor state anyway, I thought rather than repairing it, I would upgrade it, but uh, yeah, we haven't really got the stuff for that. And I need to use two of the sinew. And I can't remember how much iron it was. Oh, good guess. And boots. Three cloth, more cloth, lots of cloth. I have to keep my eye out for rabbits today, man. Mm. I have to get them going. Yeah, any kind of cloth you find. Okay, close enough. Uh, okay, well, there's Bravo. Is that Bravo? Uh, it's either that or Charlie. I don't know, I'm swimming up to the base. I think it's Charlie. From the east, and I don't... Uh, Looks like there's four of them. Unfortunately. Uh, he okay, just so they, one of them set threw, themselves on fire. Well, there's the guy behind him threw it, actually. Um, oh, did he? Ne <laughs> nearly set his mate on fire, yeah. Doing that whole swimming in all different directions thing again. Yeah. All right. Go to the one on your left. I'm getting the one on the right. Uh, can't really hit them when they're underwater. Hey. Ow. You hit me? No, probably not. I wasn't. Uh -huh. Uh, where did the other one go? Oh, are they swimming away? You? Oh, you're on him, are you? Okay. Come here. Come here. Oh, give me your foot. <laughs> oh, nice shot. Uh, okay. There's a couple of bags out there for you to collect. Okay, we got Bravo or someone. Okay. I don't know, there's a blue light. Here, you see my yellow one? Uh, I can see your name tag at the moment. 
Okay. Yes! Okay, my two shotgun shells back. I <laughs> love this double barrel. <laughs> I'm getting all my ammo back. This is great. Okay, I got him. There's uh it was just yeah. one. I don't know what's going on with it. It was just uh here. Don't shoot the yellow light. <laughs> okay, cool. Um right. I've kind of broken the base a little bit. Oh, I was going to say, there's like a single <laughs> wall. <laughs> and welcome back, everybody. It is uh, the following morning. We did have a very brief attack uh, off Bravo, a kind of half-hearted attack, uh, which was easily dealt with. And we did have an attack from Charlie uh, while I was out building our bridgehead. And uh, I got one of them, I think. Uh, Crucic got two of them. I'm not sure if they ran away. I think they've lost their impetus. So I'll just quickly show you what I've done with the bridgehead. I extended it out from the base uh, on this side. So I'm going to use this bit as a doorway. Not sure how that's going to work exactly, but anyway. Uh, so half ceilings came all the way across. I walked two ceilings all the way across here. Uh, ultimately we can fill it all in when we get enough resources to do that and then that will give us the bridge it is kind of more alpha side than bravo side unfortunately but that's just the way it lined up with the base over there uh, so I didn't really want too many awkward like foundation joins to it uh, so what we have here is the inability to jump up <laughs> that's not good <laughs> <laughs> well, all right um. well not to worry, we'll have a set of stairs somewhere at, at some point, so uh, not too worried about that just yet. However, if I could but uh, jump up there and glitch my way up perhaps, try crouching, no, no, anyway, you get the idea. So we're going to have a bridge that comes all the way out from the base that we can run along, maybe walled, maybe not, uh, and then this bridgehead here, which I'm hoping will attract their attentions. Um, we can armor that up, put windows in it as necessary, and that gives us a fighting strong point. Uh, it, as I say, it is kind of pointed at Alpha, but I'm hoping Bravo will see it and get excited by it, especially if we're here to encourage them in the right direction. Yes. Um, now, I need a lot of planks. So um. that, that means I need a lot of trees. And yes, I did move our box. Because I had to. Okay, I was wondering. I was like, wait a minute. Where is a? There's no foundation. How does this? No, work? <laughs> I had to. I had to steal the foundation, and I thought ultimately maybe we could put the box in the bridgehead, uh, but it is actually kind of debatable whether if we're going to go all the way back to the bridgehead to drop stuff off, we might as well just go back to the base to drop stuff off. So, not sure how that's going to work. Anyhow, right, we're going to gather a load of wood so we can make a load of planks so that we can build a bridge. Wasn't really going to attack him, but he seems adamant that he wants a gunfight. So he's had a gunfight. Really should have got a helmet, dude. That was a serious error in your judgment. But I was only going fishing. Okay, so rumour has it there is a rogue camp hanging around too close to us and um, we did say rogues are not allowed here so we have to go and tell them to move on hopefully they're still here Crimstick has been attacked by a very vicious pearl uh, bit him <laughs> as he smacked it, it it just reached up and bit him that's why he's lost all that health four of them actually it's insane <laughs> dude um okay is that... okay, so I'm hoping they're here. They were here earlier today. Don't see them. I go running along with my head down. I should find them. Oh, they were like right on the shore. Oh, okay. Uh... Oh, rabbit. <laughs> 
Carrot. Okay, yep. That's true. Carrots and rabbits. <laughs> oh, bear. Okay, yep. <laughs> That's also true. All right, now it looks like they're gone. Oh. Dang. Because they were right around in here. Because the dude was on uh, the beach in this part. All right, well, that's kind of a shame. I'll get the rabbit you missed. A big shame. Ooh, I gotta go eat some food. Okay, do you want a bear? Nope. I am good, sir. But, I mean, if you want, I'll take a medium rare. Well, a bit of a shame because I have one following me. I think he's actually given up pretty quick. Uh, right, no rogues then, huh? We were lied to. Uh, I think you yeah. should. Uh, I think you should have to uh, chop your informant in the head with an axe. <laughs> I mean, I really would hate to take my eyes out. That would kind of hurt. Huh. And I couldn't see you get headshotted anymore. That would be devastating. <laughs> I mean, do headshots. Yes, that's it. Oh, I see a deer. Okay, shot of the century. Hey, headshot. Nice. Uh, he's running down... But I see a chicken, and if I can hit this chicken at this range, I will definitely call myself a marksman. Yay! <laughs> well, they say practice I makes perfect. I look forward to that in your video. Yeah, they say practice makes perfect. So, I'm obviously getting better. Oh, Bravo's coming down. Bravo's coming down. Uh, it's, sorry, I have a deer to kill. Okay, yeah, there's five of them. I'm going to be borrowing the Magnum. Uh, well, there's two loaded rifles in there. Okay. All right, I've got the deer. Uh, just get his goodies, and I'll be back. Uh. I think it's probably quicker running on the beach than it is swimming, is it not? Oh, you got the magnum. Oh! Yep, uh -oh. so if y'all can tell, we... Okay. So, I take it they're not attacking our bridgehead then? No. We made glass, by the way. You made glass. The glass windows. We got one for each floor. If they'd stop swimming. <laughs> Make sure I'm not It'd followed. Be easier to Okay, I am coming in from the north. I see the attackers. I see the side strafing. Whoops, yeah, the there's one left. The synchronized swimming. I see it taking place before my very eyes. Yep. Well, uh, if this is Bravo and we can take them all out, there's absolutely no reason why we, we couldn't go and... Um, Give him what for, is it? Really? Oh, nice shot. Okay. Two, four, uh, five. If we do, I mean, we've got... I have yeah, a... I've, I've, the others are down. I have a brand new pickaxe on me. We do have a grenade arrow. Okay. We don't have any crystal for, um, I, mean, I can uh, bring the grenade just to get the door down quicker. Okay, but, I could do with emptying my inventory. So I'll grab these bags and come back. Um, but, I mean, we've, we've got time yet. It won't take us too long to get through the door. Um, I want to have time, too, to craft on their bench. Yeah. Because we need alloy sheets. Oh, when did I catch a chicken? <laughs> okay, right. Uh, grab this arrow on my way in. 
Thank you, Shadow, for showing me it was there. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Um, that is Alpha. It must be Alpha, yeah. There's three of them down from Alva. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and eat the soup because I have like no yeah no good veggie for it. stuff. I'll, I'll go and get these these bags. I've got food cooking, so if you get a second, maybe just check on okay. that. But this this is probably going to consolidate with what I've got on me, so makes sense. Oh, another steak. Our kindly neighbors are now bringing us food as well. That's awesome. Keep on bringing it. 25 casings on me. That's really nice. Yeah, I've yeah. noticed hunters do have a lot of casings. Yeah. And another arrow. Excellent. All right, I'm putting all your food in the fridge. Yeah. Yeah, it's all done. I have more as well. Get that on. Get up the ladder. So, hey, yeah. Check on the foods. As the sun sets, uh, if I can find a nice picture view. There we go. Sun sets over the horizon. Uh, we, we're going to have to call this an episode, I'm afraid. Uh, we didn't manage to get... Uh, it wasn't really enough time to be able to attack Bravo, although it would have been nice. And then Alpha attacked. It would have been kind of nice to hit them as well. But... Um, no point when the sun's going down because everything's going to respawn at midnight so we're going to call it a day there guys thank you very much for watching uh, you can see i've made a start on the bridgehead and crimstick now has his double barrel and has made very good use of it so as my gardener picks pretty flowers in the sunset <laughs> we will sign off until <laughs> next time <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed it please like share subscribe do all those things that everybody asks you to do all the time irritatingly uh, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.